Hey guys, this is Lita from Sypnotech, and we recently learned at Google I.O. that Android apps would soon be coming to Google Chromebooks. So I actually have one of the Chromebooks that has this capability with the Chrome OS 53 update, and it is the ASUS Chromebook Flip. And I honestly feel like this is huge news for Chrome OS. This is a big step in the right direction of where they should be going and what they could be. And there's a lot of potential that, that could be in this. Um, so you can only access this feature through developer mode. Um, and I'll show you really fast how to unlock it and access it and all that good stuff. Um, but let's take a look and play around with it and uh, see what it looks like. So if you haven't already, the first thing you're going to want to do is enable developer mode to unlock Android apps on your Google Chromebook. And you can do so by going into the bottom right navigation bar right here, and you're gonna just click on it, hit settings, and then you're going to wanna select about Chrome OS right here at the top. And once you do so, you're gonna wanna click the more info button right here in the middle, and you're gonna change the channel. So mine's currently already set on developer channel, but it would typically say currently on stable channel. And you would go ahead and just click it. You would change it to developer mode. It's gonna warn you that it's unstable, and then you would apply it. It'll ask you to update and restart your Google Chromebook. So since I already did that, I'm just gonna close out of it right here and go back to my home screen. So once you have Android apps enabled on your Chromebook, you're going to see that the Google Play Store now has its own icon installed in this bottom left navigation bar right here. And once you click it, you're going to see that it pretty much looks exactly the same as the Google Play Store on your Android phone or on your Android tablet. And you can scroll through it. You can see uh, you know, all your recommended games, all your recommended apps, and you can actually get the full Google Play experience, which is pretty, pretty exciting. Um, what I did was I actually went into My Apps and Games, and you can update or install any of your current apps onto here. Um, you're going to notice, though, on your All tab that some of the apps are going to be left blank in this corner right here. And that pretty much means, I assume, that the apps aren't quite ready yet for Chrome OS. And hopefully they will be soon, um, but for the most part, they are a, a good chunk of them are available. Um, and I'll kind of show you guys a couple of those right now. You can access your apps by going into the search tab and some of your most recent apps will have the icons show up right here. But you can also click on all apps and scroll through whatever apps you downloaded or whatever apps you have on here. And for the most part, the apps are super seamless and super integrated. Um, this Twitter app looks exactly as how it would on your mobile device. And you can write a new tweet. You can scroll through your news feed, you can see notifications, alerts, all that good stuff. Um, and it works really well with my Chromebook, actually. Um, what's also another cool feature is some apps like the ESPN app, um, this Chromebook, let me see if I can show you guys, is meant to be a foldable Chromebook that can kind of turn into a tablet. And you'll see that the app, this is hard to do with two hands, but you'll see that you can pretty much treat this exactly as a tablet and you can watch videos, you can scroll through, you know, all the different navigation bars right here and um, play and watch everything accordingly. So this is awesome. I think this really, really brings a new feel to Chrome OS. Um, you know, previously I felt like I was just using my Chromebook to browse the internet. And now I feel like I can do so much more with it, especially since this one's a, a, a Chromebook flip, too. So I know a lot of people are also wondering how games work on this Chromebook. I actually haven't downloaded any intensive games yet. The only game I really downloaded is actually one of my favorite games ever, and it's Crossy Road. Um, and 
it works pretty well, surprisingly. Um, I'm not sure how more intense games will be, especially since this Chromebook doesn't have the greatest specs ever, but it's pretty pretty fun just to play Crossy Road on a on a 10-inch Chromebook. Um, I'm using the arrow buttons right here to go through it, but uh, I can't think and talk at the same time. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Let's close out of that for now. But I think overall, um, there's so many great things that you can now do with Chrome OS now that we have the Android apps on here. And I, I honestly feel like this is only going to get better. So those were my initial thoughts on Android apps on Google Chromebook. So if you've enabled developer mode on your Chromebook and you're playing around in the Google Play Store too, be sure to let us know what apps are working for you, what might not be, and what your thoughts are. We'd love to hear from you. So be sure to subscribe to us, follow us, like us, all that good stuff, and stay tuned for more episodes on Sipnotech right here. This is Lita, and I'll see you next time. Bye!